Good morning, folks. It is day four of this winter camping ice fishing excursion. Today is gonna be a pretty exciting day for me because it's no longer solo today. I'm gonna meet up with a bunch of friends of mine and we're gonna try to put up some big numbers of brook trout, probably catch a lot of chub and hopefully catch a couple big brookies too. Last night I had to run the batteries out for the Garmin and for the GoPro and also for the ice auger to my generator which is at my truck so it's about I don't know 10-12 miles away but you're not allowed to have generators on this waterway this is considered the Allagash water Way. so you're not allowed to have water a generator on the water on the ice or even in the wood the generator ran until it ran out of gas usually that little honda goes for 10 hours or so and the chargers only need to go for four or five hours but i wasn't going out at midnight especially since i lost the headlight on my snowmobile for some reason so for a headlight now for the rest of this trip I hold this out with my other hand. It's pretty bright. So what I'm gonna do this morning is I'm eating breakfast. It's uh, it's a little bit before 5.30. I got breakfast going right now. I'm gonna get all my stuff packed up, ready to go for the trip. I'm gonna take the snowmobile out with my trusty headlamp, my new spotlight, go get my batteries, come back in, get my gear, and then run down and meet up with the boys. One of my best friends, Stevie, hasn't ice fished in like a hundred years, I think, so. Today's gonna be his first day back ice fishing. Hopefully we get Stevie on some good fish and give him a great day on the water. It is pretty mild this morning too. I forgot to mention that earlier. It is double digits, baby. We're at 10.9 degrees. That's, uh, that's the warmest I've seen yet. So I am super excited for you guys to meet these guys today uh introduce the youtube world to she's some huge huge characters guys that i'm honored to call my friends so you got stevie stevie and i played college ball together he went on to play uh some minor league ball for the new york yankees i hate to say it but one of the greatest hitters ever to come out of the state of maine he hit like uh i don't know 24 i think 24 homers in a 40 game season and he's got records that are still standing today. His brother, Mike, is just a top-notch great guy. Uh, super, super fun to be around all the time, whether it's fishing, hunting, or just hanging out. Uh, Stevie's cousin, Toby, is also another great guy. Hunting, trapping, fishing, uh, just consummate outdoorsmen. These guys are great guys. Everybody comes from a little bit different walk of life, even though they're all from Millinocket. The and then the last, but not least, is Cat. Kurt could be a YouTube star. Wait till you meet this guy. You're never gonna meet another guy like Kurt. And then Kurt says, there's still a fish on there. And look what we got, a big old native brookie. What a beautiful trout. Huh? Yeah, as soon as you get it up out of the hole, it's like, there's still a fish on there. <laughs> By far the biggest, heaviest thing I've ever caught. It's like, <laughs> right oh, let's get a picture together with this thing. <laughs> Stay tuned. Cool. Still here. Let's see how we did on the batteries. Nice, four bars, good. I'm gonna guess that's charged too. Cool, let's uh, get everything unhooked. Throw the generator back in the truck. and hooked up ready to roll it's snowing pretty good right now everything shut off here and I'm about to go see if I can find the boys let's go
that was a pretty good ride made it in gonna have to check ice conditions even though my buddies beat down the trail yesterday uh probably gonna throw a couple traps in while i'm waiting for them there's no telling what time they get here i think stevie was gonna meet them around 6 30 at the camper and they were gonna sled all the way in on logging trails so could be here at seven he could be early they could be late who knows and you never know up here with what kind of trouble you can get into. So that being said, I'm gonna set some traps and hopefully get a brookie on the ice before they get here. When Stevie gets here, I'm gonna dedicate most of my day to him catching fish. Here we are, I'm super stoked, let's catch a brookie. All right, there's the jack trap. What I switched over to guys is this rubber band for a, for a hook keeper. That way you're not jamming your hook into your line or the hook's popping free. And then when I'm not using it, I just slide it up here. And then uh, at the end of the day, it's right there. when when I need it. We got some serious slush. Man. Plenty of ice, that's not a factor. All right, I got this contraption set up and look back and my first flag's already up. So let's go find out what it is. Is that open water? <laughs> She's tripped, but she ain't running. A lot of times a brookie will just sit to the side. Let's see if we're into the chubs or into the brookies. Huh. We're into nothing. What is going on here? Yeah, that's a hole in the ice. Wicked. There's like 10 inches of ice right there. Eight inches, eight to 10 in that range. And this is a hole with water just bellowing up through. This is where all the slush is coming from in this, in this pocket. Is the, the water level must be rising, coming down through the waterway and it's pushing up on the ice so hard it popped through right here. I'm not gonna get much closer than that. Might wanna avoid those. Chubber, to trip the flag. Oh yeah, there's something there. Got him. Oh, he's fighting pretty good. Ah, just a big chub. Big dumb chub. Oh, she is bowling. She's turning. Small, real small. Another chub. Not much left on this bait. Huh. She's already hooked. For some reason, that's not stripping. Oh, that's no chub. That is no chub, sir. That's no chub there. We are on the board, folks. Brookie. All right. Yes, sir. Look at that brook trout. We're going to throw him back. Nice. Oh, my other flag's up. <laughs> oh man. This is gonna be a busy, busy day. There's something on there. Oh, did it just pop off? No. It's fighting pretty good now. Wow, big chub. Not much for bait. <laughs> You made it. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't know if you guys were gonna make it. Why? It's noon. 
It is not <laughs> noon. It must be 8.30. <laughs> Steve got there at 6. We're like, Oh, ah. fuck, Stevie. I knew he'd be early. He was, dude. He got up at 4. <laughs> <laughs> I said, good for you. Well, I've yeah. been here since, I don't know, an hour or so. And I've been trying to set a third trap, and I can't. This one keeps going off? This and that fishing rod down there. I got yeah. a rod on a trap. Oh, chub? I got one brookie, and like, I don't know how many chubs. I'm keeping every one, throwing them right in the sled. Yeah, but it wasn't too How bad for slush. Got? We never drilled over Oh, yet. we got like inch and a half. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got like easy eight inches. Eight, yeah. yeah. Where you guys want to set up? Over there where it's dry? Yeah, probably. Oh, we can set up right here. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, just as long as you stay out of this. Where you want to set up? Slushy draw? It's, uh, it's real bad here. There's a hole. See that hole? There's a hole right there that's just gushing water out of it. This one right here? Yeah. They made it. Yeah, so that's this This is all coming out of that hole. So we might want to set up where you guys normally do up there. What are you doing, Louie? Yeah. Good to see you, Joe. You any luck so far? Oh. Look at that. I've not, it doesn't even have bait. It's just a chunk of a shiner. <laughs> I've not been able to set that third one. Oh, I've, really? Yeah, I have this one and that one. I got one brookie and like, I don't know, a dozen jabs. Stevie, go get it. Go get it. Hey, watch out for that hole right there. Right here. Where? Right there. Yeah. Oh. How deep is that? <laughs> Look at all the slash, huh? Yeah, it's all coming out of that. I thought you were going to have the slush off cleaned up. I tried. I've been drilling holes to drain it, but it keeps putting water off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a slush hole, huh? So this is like... How much ice is right here? About an inch and a half. <laughs> 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 no, there's like 10 inches. Eight, eight, ten. Okay. There's enough that you don't even yeah, think. Yeah, I mean, that's open. Right? That's open, yeah. yeah. It's that's a hole this... saw yesterday. Yeah, do you see? There's a bunch of them. Yeah, there is. They must be putting water well, in or one something. Of them looked like an otter came out of. It was old. Oh, really? Coming out. Yeah. I bet. Right, right. See it yeah. pumping the water oh, right yeah. out of it. You can see it moving. We should all get wicked close to it. <laughs> <laughs> this is all yours, Stevie. You got about an eight-inch chub sitting on the other end of that. It's going. Take it. Go one brookie so far. Yeah. Twelve inches. Nice. Threw. I threw it back. I didn't. Oh. No, I don't want to get my hands cold. It's all. Wrapped up. <laughs> Yo, you're not supposed to set them around the reel like. Well, that way they don't run fast. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> Get a good hook set right on it. All right, this is Stevie's first fish in 11 years. Is there anything there, Stevie? That's no. what I'm using. Show him that bait. Holy <laughs> mangled. That's six chubs in on one shiner. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna throw a new shiner on it I eventually. I did that with a crawler one time. 79 chub. Oh my freaking Right Lord. there. Yeah, I remember that. I think we're gonna have a good chub day. What a gorgeous day. Yo, is it real slushy out there for everything? I've been out. Uh, we got enough crawlers. Now. Oh yeah. I brought crawlers up, but that first night it was 16 below and I left them outside. Oh. So they're freaking. <laughs> yeah. I'll sell them to you for $4 a dozen. I don't even want one. <laughs> <laughs> You guys want a hand? Yeah. Want a shovel? Does that mean you're gonna come flat for us? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna wrap up. <laughs> There's a good fish there. <laughs> All right, you grab the rod. Oh man, it's a good fish. All right, now you. All right, now he's spooling. He is spooling. Is he? Yeah. All right, so you're gonna have to set the hook. Okay. And just reel him in. Got him? Yeah. Big one? I don't know. I never caught one on a rod like this before. <laughs> I think it's a decent fish. Wow, he spooled some line, huh? I haven't seen him yet. Yeah, he feels like he's oh, yeah. heavy. A big chub. Oh, <laughs> Look at the size of that chub. <laughs> oh my god. Chubs. Chubs. Look at the size of that one, Stevie. That's a good one. That's two, a keeper. Two pounder. Oh man, they don't get a lot bigger, do they? <laughs> no. Oh, your other flag's up. This is how it's been all morning. <laughs> Stevie just got a two pounder. Really? 
Nice, Steve. Chub. <laughs> really? Yeah. Got it on the jig rod. It was fighting like crazy. Nice. Ooh, oh, there you go. There you go. You bumped that. <laughs> there was some weight there. Yes, sir. Head shake, shaky, shaky, like a little rascal. Look at Chubba do. But it's uh, got some weight, so. I oh, nice. It's biting like a trout. Oh, good. Uh, but it's a chubs. So. Oh, chubba. Here you go, Stevie. Oh, 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 that's a trout. Chubby trout? He's a head shaker. Oh. He took some line in a hurry. Slow down, boy. Oh. That looks trouty. Ooh. It's a trout. It's a trout. No, it's not. Chub. <laughs> it's a white trout. We don't want no chubs. I might move this trap so we don't have to wear our swimmies to get to it later if the water keeps coming in. How high is the water, mama? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Three foot high and rising. <laughs> How high is the water, Stevie? <laughs> you said it's two foot high and rising. <laughs> I don't even know the reference. Oh, you don't know the Johnny Cash song? Nope. Five foot high and rising? I never heard that Come one. on! Nope. Uh, just that way, but it's not moving. Oh. Uh, oh, something's still there. It's not strong enough to spool no, the line off. With it? I don't know if that's the bait moving or what. Jeez, I'd be surprised. I think it's swimming right no, towards it's me. No, it's a trout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. I don't think he's going to keep. No. Eight, ten incher. Oh, jeez. Did you set that off? No. Unless it was a wind flag. No, nope, it's going. Not even a wind flag. <laughs> I guess they don't mind the dead bait, huh? <laughs> Is he home? He's home. It's a bigger one. Oh, nice. Yep. Nice. Oh, yeah, look at it. He's all fired up. <laughs> that one's pretty. Oh, good, he's off. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is nice and colorful, isn't it? Yeah. Three out of five up right now. <laughs> uh, Any action over here, Tobe? Yeah, he's got something out. Chub, okay. I've been piling him up over there. <laughs> Have you? Chub hole. <laughs> You've been pounding the old job, yeah. huh? <laughs> <laughs> Good spooling ya. <laughs> spooling ya. <laughs> <laughs> Caught so many fish here, I got a little groove. I was gonna say, there you go. Got enough rope there to get us out of any trouble we get. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we just spit it out. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, there's another one out right there. That one oh is. My oh, my that's God. us. Another chub? Yeah. Kurt made us some breakfast sandwiches. Holy bacon. Bacon on there? Oh my goodness, look at all that bacon on there. Be good night, Irene, after that. <laughs> Just started rolling again. I think I got a hook set on him this time. You got him? Yeah. 
What'd you do? Mess on or something? He came right up. Like I was setting the trap down and I still had my hand on the spool. And he, uh, I could feel tension on it. So I lifted the trap up and he came up the hole and wiggled <laughs> off. That's a nice trout. Yeah. Wow, look how pretty that one is. Holy cow. One of my customers Take that, that wants one. Kill him. Did this he go 20? This is my, uh, he didn't go 20. He's on the... Is he? 13 and a quarter. Close to a half. That's, that's the perfect slot. That's a good one. Yeah. Perfect fish to keep in the slot. It's spooling like a bottle. You got a fishing no, license? No, it's not either. You got a fishing license? No. Do I need one? No, go ahead. I didn't think we needed one in Maine. I'm a resident. <laughs> <laughs> That thing took a lot of line. Yeah, it did. Wow. How long's it been up? Take it, Karen. Take it. You run it. Oh! Oh, nope. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at that. What That's what we get in Maine right there. Brook trout. Getting right. <laughs> Green peppers and onions. <laughs> get some sausage coming here. What's going on with that beer? That's ah, frozen. We need to get that thing going. <laughs> How'd that happen? I, Mike left him outside last night. Oh yeah, I did. My fault. <laughs> Throw Mike under the bus. Both coolers. <laughs> what was the question, Dill? <laughs> if those are done. Oh, what do you think, Joe? Those are done. Tell us, YouTube. More? Any, anytime. Okay. Anytime, now, that's what they later. said. I don't think you can. What do you got cook? What do you got for cooking? I got, um... This is maple sausage, deer sausage, and andouille deer sausage. Damn. We'll put them on some buns. I got buns over here. How do we tell the difference? <laughs> so me and Mike, and we were on our way back. We stopped at the West Branch Bridge. And Mike's like, oh, I'm going to jump off the bridge. You got to jump off too. I'm like, mm -mm, not this guy. <laughs> so Mike's like, oh, yeah, you would be fine. you be fine. He's like, all I want you to do is if I don't come up, Please, come save me. <laughs> <laughs> me being a nice friend I am, I'm like, yeah, right. But okay. So he jumps off. No, I did I flip. Or whatever you do. Yeah. <laughs> so hard as I can remember. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's down there. I'm standing there and I'm like, <laughs> He's not coming out. He's I not. right under the surface of the water. <laughs> so I'm like, what the hell? So I waited. And I'm like, how long did you hold your breath, you think? As long as I could. So I jump off. Uh -huh. He comes up. Gotcha! I was so upset. Oh, I was angry. Uh -huh. That, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, don't like heights, and here you go. And then there's flow. We're cranking right down through. I'm like, well, Jesus Christ. He's like, I got you as he's climbing up the rocks. I'm like, I'm really sorry, man. I'm really sorry, but yeah, I'm not. Right. I am, but I'm not. <laughs> I am, but I'm not. Does that look like tan line to you? Pink. Does that look tan to you? It looks pink. Tan? No, it's not tan. Who said it was tan? Jack trap himself. <laughs> <laughs> so he told me they were guaranteed to catch fish, go. <laughs> so if you ain't catching them on that lake, move to the next one. I got worms. <laughs> I got worms. That's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your elastic for, Joe? Is that your real wrap? Yep. I was a boy growing up. We couldn't buy real wraps. So have you used them? Uh, <laughs> He goes, we were so poor growing up, we didn't have hills. <laughs> <laughs> we had to sit in the sled and just do this. <laughs> we push each other. <laughs> Back and forth. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh good ho. one. Oh, toad. Good one. Wow. One you got down. Yeah. Cut. You big Mike? Ah, uh, it doesn't feel too big. Oh! A sucker! Fuck 
<laughs> Holy <laughs> crap! <laughs> Look at the size of that dude. It has to. <laughs> You're right. Oh! Holy shit! <laughs> Joe, what is that? <laughs> the suckers are coming to life. Right, we got a sucker run going. Yeah, we do. I'm right here. Ho! Oh. Come on, go around, goddammit. Feel that? Oh, get on there, Kurt. Yeah, she's on there. Oh nice. my goodness. Oh man. Knot it up, knot it up. Yeah, wrap it right around your wrist, bub. <laughs> knot it around. <laughs> Ho! Cusk! Cusk! The oddball girl. species are turning they on. Be. They don't have to. They don't. They right? keep whatever. You want to go back or what do you want to do? Oh, well, fuck, keep them. Why not? Well, Eat them. Be good for the frying pan. Good for pliers. <laughs> yeah, it's cooling off for sure. The wind's not dying down, though, is it? No, she's ripping. Coming right down the lake. Yeah, northwest. Right off those mountains. What are you going to do? Suck her in a cop and right yeah. back to back. That's weird. Must be a yeah, storm fuck. rolling in. Yeah, must be. Think? Not supposed to be. But these mountains decide. The weatherman does it. <laughs> they make their own weather. They sure do. I said, I don't even know what's wrong with it. I don't even care. I said, all I know is you grab the clutch, he goes, cut, cut. <laughs> <laughs> he was in front of me, actually, the guy. And all of a sudden, no brake light, no nothing. It was just skid sideways. I'm like, well, that ain't good. I mean, we were really like 10 miles an hour. Like coming down onto, you know, we were going down a trail like that. We were in the woods. Just, I don't know. Let go. That's weird. So I brought it home. So I'm gonna sell you a sled, Leah. We blew it up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, what am I gonna do? What'd that guy say when you won the race? The old guy. Ah, was... He's just a drunk. <laughs> oh, you were right. Yeah. yeah. Sleeper. I got a sleeper. The oh, sleeper. do you? What'd you put on it? A 550 fan. <laughs> Coward. I bought it on BJ. <laughs> and it was the same, same sled as this. Oh, God. <laughs> so he crashed into Adam Ouellette and busted the cow up. So he put this gray one on it with a wrap. Well, I didn't really like that. So I found a cow and I'm like, in same color. Told the guys, yeah, 80 bucks. The cow come down and get it somewhere in Herman. I went down and got it, put it on the sled. I said, look at this hunt. Sleeper. He's like, what the does that mean? I said, you don't even need to know. <laughs> so now you pull up. Bum, 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 bum. See ya! <laughs> All right, made it back. Sorry about the lighting, folks. Uh, that was a pretty long snowmobile ride. One of my lights, the batteries are starting to die on them, and it's so, so cold. We are in single digits right around zero and the wind's ripping now over 30 miles an hour so wind chill is really really dangerous out there i'm super glad to have made it all the way back i split up from the boys maybe 10 miles or so ago and drove straight into that headwind through all the slush trusty snowmobile made it back so happy about that just fired up the heater gonna fire up some dinner pretty soon and, and settle in for the night unpack a bunch of stuff that i took out today and try to get it thawed out so i can do some more fishing tomorrow Woo!